Okay, in this video, I'm just going to quickly address the recent video that The Amazing Atheist has done with regard to objective morality. The Amazing Atheist says that morality is not objective because it's different than mathematics, and he says that the two things just are not the same at all, and that because of this, morality cannot be objective. And his argument for this is the fact that, in his view, mathematics in the area of addition is something that everyone can recognize as being true and valid. If you have two objects and you add them together, you get four. And what this shows me is that the amazing atheist has never studied advanced mathematics, because when you get into the area of abstract math, when you get into the area of imaginary numbers, you can just see, plain and simple, that mathematics is not something that relates to everyday empirical experience, or even empirical experience at all. It's something that is derived from the framework in which we experience the world. It's something that is abstract and that is foreign to experience because it is the groundwork, arguably, for experience. It's something that is a foundation of experience and that you can't argue against from a standpoint of empiricism because it's not an empirical subject. And we would recognize this if we went into the area of, say, the partial differential equation. Partial differential equations can describe a lot of different things and help to explain a lot of different things. But try to show me, try to prove to me that a partial differential equation somehow relates to an everyday, blatantly obvious experience that someone has had. You just can't do it because it's something that is genuinely abstract. Similarly, morality fits into the same type of category. It is something that is at, at or close to the foundation of a person's ideology or worldview. It's something that is not derived from empiricism, so to speak. It's something that is derived from the assumptions that everybody has to make in order to be a healthy, coherently functioning individual. And the amazing atheist shouldn't be against objective morality just because he's an atheist, because there have been a lot of atheists who have supported objective morality. Just think about Ayn Rand, or just think about Sam Harris or Stefan Molyneux. The fact is, the amazing atheist has a weird sort of Marxist kind of ideology about objective morals, and it just doesn't make any sense, and he doesn't even follow through with it because he's not an, a Nietzschean ubermensch superman who transcends morality and says, it doesn't, it doesn't matter, like, I just want the power, I just want the strength to do what I want. No, the Amazing Atheist doesn't say any of that. He just says that it's not real, but I'm going to make all these claims about something being good or bad and base it on my own subjective experience and hassle other people about it. If the Amazing Atheist really doesn't think objective morality is true, he should be a fucking god-man who transcends space and time and takes over the world. Or he should just kill himself because nothing matters anyway. I mean... He shouldn't have the stance where he can make a bunch of moral claims and then retreat behind relativism when he is questioned. And morality is something that's very important, I think, and it's something that the Amazing Atheist would do well to study because if you don't study morality, you end up having a bunch of false beliefs about it, which make it so that your ideology and ideas will turn out to be most often false. It's said that the man who doesn't think he needs to study philosophy is the man who needs philosophy the most because he doesn't understand his own philosophical assumptions. And morality is that kind of area of study and thought. You need to study it in order to be able to criticize it. The Amazing Atheist clearly has not done so, and therefore he has a really warped view. So that's basically all there is to it, and in response to the moral relativists, if you really are a moral relativist, then you honestly believe that it's okay to just bash somebody's head in and kill them. Nobody thinks that. So people who are intelligent formulate ideas with regard to morality 
that are consistent so that their underlying fundamental, not even assumptions, but their fundamental underlying perceptions or perceptual framework can be related coherently to action. That's all objective morality is, and anybody who has studied the subject properly understands that objective morality is in some sense something that we are presented with. So thank you so much for listening. I hope you have a lovely day.